Questions for, uh, for Coach Holloway? Jerry, you want to start? So I'll just start off with a general question. What did you think of what you just saw? Um, super, super impressed with with these guys. Um, you know, it's it's been, it's been a long year, right? It's been a long year. Um, some ups, some downs. Um, but the way these guys, you know, came out and and handled themselves and didn't cry, then you know, then worry about things. Um, stuck to the game plan. Um, to play like we played tonight, to for this to be our last game at home was unbelievable, unbelievable. Super proud of these guys. Um, and 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 I'm. I'm the fans came out big time. I mean, big time. Um, so it it was a great night overall. Um, so, right, Shaheen, you had a great stretch with this team in in January, where you got off to a great start in the Big East. Is, but is this similar to that, where they're as locked in as you've seen them all year? I mean, it was it was tough the last couple of days, right? We had, um, you know, Zay is sick, and and you know, Elijah, you know, got his injury, so you know, we couldn't do some some things and some other guys was coming back off being sick. So it was it was a tricky week, a couple of days to try to get ready. Um, but I think for the, for the most part, you know, these guys came in and understood the game plan. Um, and I think that's when you have good senior leadership, right? You know, I got five guys that that's older. You know, these guys understand the mission and the goal. Um, I thought we played well. I thought we shared the basketball. I think that was the biggest thing I was happy about. You know, having 22 assists was really big. You know, I watch these guys against Princeton, right? And to go down there and win at Princeton is, 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 is impressive, right? Then I watch them against Boston College, and the way they play defense, when they got after it, I was like, wow, you know, this team is really good. They 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 got good they they got good size, they athletic, they they got, you know, they get in the lanes. Um, so we really watch a lot of film because we couldn't do too much on the court because we had limited guys. We watch a lot of film of you know what what was going to be open. I thought uh, early Kadari set the tone. I right, came out and set the tone. Um, the second half, I thought, oh, you know, I got us found to for those, those three threes, and from there it was like on to the races. But um, that's a really good team. It is. Right. Coach, a little more time, obviously, to prep for the semifinals, but any any early thoughts on Georgia? I'll be honest with you, I, I, I'm just in the moment right now, right? I'm in the moment right now. Happy for these guys. Happy that, you know, we get a chance to go to Indy and, you know, play in front of Dre hometown, right? Getting a chance to play in the Final Four. Other than IT, it's, it's, it's like, like I told these guys, basketball is basketball this time of year. You know, you got, you got to be really appreciative of being out there. You know, we had a moment of silence yesterday for um, stuff that's going on in Baltimore with the bridge. And I told these guys, you can't take nothing for granted, right? Um, anything happen at any given time. So when you're out there, don't cheat the game. And I think these guys came out and, and played tonight. Quick follow-up on that, Coach. How did you, you know, you, you preached all, all along about, you know, not handling what you can't control, but how did you get your team – from Selection Sunday to to be this ready to go on this amazing run of three teams? I just told these guys, I mean, you know, be selfish, right? Um, you're playing in front of a different audience. Right? ESPN is a different audience than, than Fox. Um, you, could, you, could, you get a chance to keep improving your individual brand, right, which all these guys care about, the individual brand. But you also get a chance to keep, you know, representing the school and keep playing basketball and also, like, playing with, with, with your brothers that you spent – 11 months from when we first got here to now, 11 months went, like, these friendships and this stuff won't last forever. So um, these guys, you know, they, they understand the mission, but we still got a long way to go. Thank you. So at the end of the game, it looked like there was a line of fans who wanted to talk to you, congratulate you, take pictures with you. What is that like to see the way the fans have responded to you and to this team in this run? It's good, right? You know, it's, it's you know, it's funny. It's Seton Hall, right? You know, the, our fans are very passionate, sometimes in a good way, sometimes in not a good way, right? Um, but, you know, I think they appreciate the way that this, that this team responded all year long, right? Starting the year off a little rough, right? Coming back, playing well, then going a little drop to come back, playing well. I think they, they, they just appreciate this team and the way they played and, and the way that they've been carrying themselves all year long. I know you try to take the emotion out of it, but does this mean anything extra to you tonight on – your, your home and your home court to see the way people react to this team? Yeah, it's, it's always special, man. Like, it's, it's you know, playing in Walsh, playing here is, di is different than playing down in Newark at the Peru, which the Peru is, is great. But it's a different type of atmosphere here, right? It's a different type of uh, – I mean, they they on top of you, 
right? They they loud. They they after it. You know, our, our fans was into it from you know the St. Joe's game all the way until now, right? Um, and I think our our guys fight off. And I'll be honest with you, if I'm not sure we would have been playing like this if we played the Pro because the Pro's a little bigger, right? It's, it's kind of spaced out. These these fans got these guys going all three games. Make no, there's no doubt about that. Uh, you would say that, right? Yes. Um, it's all good. It's all good, brother. Don't worry about it. One, did, did you have any conversations with Louisville? And two, did you have any message to the fans? Listen, man, what's, what's, what's understood don't need to be said, brother. That's all I'm going to say. I'm, I'm, I'm the coach of Seton Hall. Michael? Period. Coach, you've gone on deep runs before. What's the mindset going into another deep run? And with a team that doesn't have that much experience going deep into tournaments, what do you, what's the message to them? Say that again. I'm sorry. You've been on deep runs before with mm -hmm. teams. You're now going on a deep run with Seton Hall. Yes. What's your mindset going into that as well as a message to your team with going into deep run? I'll be honest with you. And tonight, I am just going to try to enjoy this, um, enjoy the moment, enjoy, you know, what these young men just accomplished um, in history for the, for the school, right? Um, and then tomorrow, you know, kind of get, get ready for Georgia. All right? I don't want to talk about what I did with St. Peter's because it's not fair to these guys. This is their journey. Right, so my thing to them is, is just keep playing, keep them want to play, keep, you know, like like I said, these guys built a bond. Like you, you want to go far and, and you always want to try to win every game you play. And the goal was to, to win a championship, and we get an opportunity to try to win a championship. Okay, last one for sure. I want to ask you specifically about Al. It's his final college home game. Uh, what do you think of his journey he's had and what he's done for the program? Super. Al, Al is, is, is different, right? Al, me and Al have a relationship that goes back 12 years, you know, 15 years. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm proud of him, the way he handled himself coming back home, because it's not easy, right? Going to Clemson, had a good career there for three years, started, came back here um, last year, kind of rocky. You know, he got a, a raw deal with a lot of fans. A lot, a lot of fans didn't understand him and his game. Um, I thought he came in this summer, Super focused, with a chip on his shoulder, with something to prove. Um, I thought he came out and had an unbelievable senior year, so I'm super proud of him. I'm proud of the way he handled himself. Proud of the young man becoming. I'm proud of him because he, he's a great father to, to his son as well. Awesome. Thank you, coach. Uh, all right, fellas. Thank you, guys. Thank you.